God is behind everything. He is ultimately responsible for everything. He allows Satan a great deal of freedom to deceive, but God still has a handle on a degree of justice. So the devil is behind all of those systems. That's right. But God is certainly limiting the power of the devil. He must be, because there are some good things that the police officers do. Obviously, they protect us. We're thankful for that. We should honor those systems while realizing that they are deeply deceived also. Now, Luther made the mistake of saying that you can wear two hats. You can operate as the church, and you can also operate as the state. I wouldn't advise that. You don't want to be part of this evil system. Do not be involved in the politics of this world. At the same time, respect the order that God has decreed, even with people who are otherwise not converted. So God allows exactly that degree of freedom on the part of Satan, not one inch more or less than he decrees. Satan has only got power of this world to the degree to which God the Father and Messiah at his right hand now are allowing. So I agree that's a difficult concept, but that's, I think, what the facts of Scripture give us. It's all by God's permission. It's not ideal. It's, it's a real situation. We have wonderful laws in America, among others. But here's the example I think we should quote. In the book of Chronicles, you'll find that Satan tempted David. The parallel says that God tempted David. How do we square that? Very easily. What God permits, he is said to cause. We have to get our mind around that. God permits something, he is causing it. So Satan can tempt David and God can at the same time. That is simply the law of permission. God allows Satan to tempt up to a certain limit. And that's the same as saying that God causes it to happen. Why not? So then here's an interesting point. It says that God sent an evil spirit from, or it says that God sent an evil spirit from Yahweh. Actually, in the Hebrew, from with Yahweh. They hesitate to say that the evil spirit came from Yahweh. So they say from with Yahweh. He permits it. An angel, in fact, volunteers, a, an evil angel, a lying spirit volunteers, could be a good angel, in fact, who still is permitted to lie. So God permits all that. Nothing happens without God's permission, but in some sense, too, uh, the devil, of course, is vastly in charge because of our sin. So I think that's a difficult subject. I agree. But you have to struggle with that, wrestle with that, and allow all of it to stand. But Romans 13 is not an ideal. It's stating the facts. And the alternative is to give up on faith. And that's a disaster that puts anybody under condemnation. It is madness to imagine a creation with no creator. It's assumed that we, we do. And we also then must allow for the vastness of human evil, the stubbornness of human hearts. So God allows all that only to the limit that he allows it. So he gives Satan a whole lot of rain, if you like. And he's using Satan to test and try us in some ways. And yet we are not to fall into Satan's trap. We're to resist the devil. You have to blend all that. It takes some thinking. It's not a Western way of thinking. But then the Bible is not a Western document at all. It's very Hebraic.